Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Old Vinny's here and welcome to a special Thursday night live on May May May. We're excited to be with you guys. If it's your first time to be with us, be sure to hit that red button and subscribe and give us a thumbs up and let us know that you really like what you're seeing. Shenanigans is on the other side, our crafty sidekick. We're glad to have her with us again tonight. Um, again, if it's your first time, welcome in. If you're a long time visitor, we're glad to have you back. Um, everything that you see tonight can be purchased through our online craft store at www.maymaymadeit.com. So go there and check out anything that you see tonight that you'd like to purchase for yourself. Also, right after this show, we're going to do another show called The Crafter After Show, where we can talk about whatever we want to talk about, and most of the time we do. So, May May, let's get started. Hey guys, it has been a while. Somebody said it's been a while. It's been, um, our schedule's been off. It's been real off, and we're glad to be back tonight. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a poll in the chat. I'm asking you a question, and sometimes when I give you, when I tell you why, you guys will understand but so we're thinking about moving our live show to Thursday night but the reason for that is because I kind of get bottlenecked the, the beginning of the week you guys are really enjoying the Monday night videos and they're doing really well and live shows are doing well too but if I could move them to Thursday it give me a little bit of a gap in there to prep a little more for my live shows so then we'd end up with a Monday Thursday Saturday situation whereas now I have a Monday Tuesday Saturday and it's it's really bottlenecky so that's why I'm asking you, how do you feel about Thursday night live shows? Just like this on Thursday night, um, I know other people do live shows and stuff, but we it's okay because it's all recorded and it's all able to be watched later. And, you know, maybe, maybe you want to like switch it up and watch different people different times and stuff like that. But I do want to hear from you. And right now we're at 89% would be okay. That feels pretty good. But make sure you answer it for me. We'll leave the poll up for a little while longer. Okay. You guys. You are so kind to give me some grace early in this week. I appreciate your prayers. I appreciate your time, what you allowed us to do. Um, just to have a little bit of time to do what we needed to do and, um, and you know, say goodbye to my dad and uh, do what we need to do. Y'all know how that goes, right? So I thank y'all very much for that. And during that time that we took, we had a stamp set release. And neither Shannon nor I had time to do samples. And so I promised you that I would do something tonight. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you this. Um, this is the uh, stamp set that we released on, I don't remember days, Monday? I think Monday. Monday was the 6th. Yes. There we go. We released this on Monday. And it is called So Perfect. And what we love about it is you guys had mentioned, this is actually a stamp set you guys kind of created. You mentioned you'd like all the stitches for all of the quilty stuff that we're doing. And I went to Sylvia and Sylvia's a quilter, which is really helpful. And I was like, Sylvia, here's what we want. We want to make squares and we want to make half square triangles and we want to make flying geese and all the crazy things I don't even understand yet because I'm still learning. But I wanted to be able to do it. So Sylvia came up with all of these pieces for us, including the cute little sentiments to go with it. Well, I'm going to put together one tonight. Shannon actually did a tester for us to see how this would work. Um, and we're going to put together a six by six card. Now, I've not done a six by six in a very long time. One of the reasons is I'm not really, I'm not a person who always sends a six by six. There's, there's a time and a place for it. I actually like a six by six folio better than I do a card. But I wanted to do this because I think it's really cute. Um, do I show them before? I wait. Oh, wait. I make y'all wait. I make y'all wait. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here's what we're going to do to start. How do I want to start? We're going to start right here. So, these little pieces in the stamp set, let me bring it back over to you. I'm going to get my trimmer real quick um, so you guys can see this. But these little pieces right here uh, coordinate or coincide with squares, okay? So, like, this one right here, the one we're going to use tonight, is this one, isn't it? Yes, it is. This one works with an inch and a half square, okay? So, what that means is, and by the way, I showed in my sample video, I showed you that. I did I did want you to see how these things work. So, I showed you how the um, triangles work. So, this works with an inch and a half square. So, what I have here is an inch and a half by inch and a half piece of cardstock, okay? What I'm going to do is put it into my trimmer on the diagonal, and go ahead and trim this in half. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to get the stamping done. So I've trimmed this in half on that diagonal. Okay. So 
I did this in the Misty and Shannon did it by hand and she feels like, let me cut a couple more too. She feels like doing it by hand was easier and it might be, but I'm going to show you how to get both done. Okay. I did it in the Misty. Um, and I don't know, I've done it both ways because for the video I did for you guys, I did it by hand. So either way works. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a second. Let me cut a couple of these. And I want you to notice too, when I do this, I put them on the, on the line. Okay. And then I sink my blade and go up and then down. So I'm going to sink my blade. And I also put pressure out here on the side to hold that down. All right, so that gives me a couple to show you. Now I did that one in yellow because I want you to be able to see what's happening here. And I might even need to zoom in, but my camera has wiggled. Can I see the mouse to fix that so I can see what, where I'm at? Thank you guys for your kind words. I can see that you're all... Um, um, I'm trying to send it back to you too sending me lovely things and I appreciate that so much. Y'all can't know what it means to me. That's one reason I'm really glad to be here tonight because I need to talk to you guys sometimes. I just need you. I just need my community. Okay, so here's how we're going to set this up. If you're going to use the Misty, this is how I would do it with these. I would go ahead and get my pieces cut into the um, triangle, okay, and then I would place it into the corner of the Misty like so, all the way into that corner. I'm going to move my mat into that corner as well. See that? And then I need to clean this because we just stamped with it before we went live. Let's put some squeaky on it. Let's put a cloth on it. All right. Now the piece I'm using over here, I'm obviously not really going to be using this in a quilt. I'm just doing it to show you. Okay. But make sure this stamp is clean before you do this because if it is dirty and you're using the piece that you're going to use in a card you could get it dirty doing this okay so here's what you do keep an eraser handy in case you need it but i'm going to lay this triangle down and i'm going to line it up on this triangle in my misty to start with now i will tell you something this is going to feel fidgety and and not as fun but here's the thing you only have to set one up okay once you get one set up the rest will go so quick I feel like I moved my triangles. I'm going to put that back there. All right. So I don't love that. I'm going to move it like that. See how I'm being real fidgety here. You don't have to be. But if you do it one time, the rest will go super fast. All right. So I got that guy. And the title of this is, could I have one more gadget out? Because why do you see all these gadgets? So here's what I use for this. Okay. So I have my stamp. That's one gadget. I have my Misty. That's a gadget. I have my cardstock right here. Then... I have my ink bandit and my ink over here. There's another gadget and I'm using my quick stick because this was kind of cool. This worked really well. So once you've got all your pieces cut in their little triangles and stuff, here's what I did. I just dropped them up here on my Misty like this, right? I just dropped <laughs> them there. What I did, too. did you really? Uh -huh. So I got tired of reaching. we have smart, we're, we're smart. So I dropped them up here on the Misty and I've got my quick stick in my hand. I'm just going to hold it like a pencil and I can just kind of keep going. So I'll pick this up from my ink bandit. I don't think y'all can see half of this stuff that I've got on the screen, but um, so I'm picking this up. Now here's the thing. Every single time you go to stamp, push this guy into the corner. Every time. Don't think it stayed there. Don't nope. think you don't have to touch it. Nope. Every time push it into that corner. Oh, here's another gadget. <laughs> How many gadgets can I have? Just one more. Now here's what I love. Using this, because I don't like to fidget, do this and put it in a pile. Just make a pile of them. Using your quick stick makes it so much easier to pick things up. You can even do this. Get it there in the corner. We're going to ink this guy up. I don't know who invented that ink bandit, but they are brilliant. They are geniuses. <laughs> Pretty sharp. <laughs> and look, pick Clark this up. Man. It was Clack. That's who did it. It wasn't me. All right. And he then. Watched, he watched one May May video. And knew you need this. Me. You need this thing in your life. Okay. So then keep going. Isn't this, I mean, this is fairly simple, but I'm going to show you the other way you can do it. So I really like using the quick stick in this way because I don't like to fidget in this corner with my finger. And I also don't want to smear the ink, right? Can you show what an uh, ink bandit is? This is my ink bandit. Um, we sell these in the store. It is something that I designed. I, I mean, I was being funny, but I mean, you know. <laughs> This is what um, my design, and then my friend Clack made it on his laser cut machine, and we have these. We sell them flat. They come flat, and you decorate them yourselves. I did mine like Minnie Mouse, apparently. I really did it like Maymay, but it turned out Minnie Mousey. And what it is, it has these rubber bands, and it holds your ink 
like this. So when you're doing this um, over and over stamping motion, you don't have to turn this back up and sit it down on your work surface over and over. So that is an ink bandit and I love it. And it is not for permanent storage. Obviously when I'm done stamping, I would close this guy up and put it away. But while I'm stamping, I would leave it like this just to make it easy. All right, so that's using the Misty. Let's now look at not the Misty. It, like I said, I did it both ways and Shannon thought this way was easier and I'll show you one reason why, because it, it can be. All right, let's get a block. Ooh, not all of blocks, just one please. You don't want all of them? Not all at one time on my head. All right, I'm gonna pick this guy up. Got my triangle, okay? Then I'm gonna bring this guy. Now, this probably won't be perfect because I can't get my head over it in camera, but you'll be able to get your head over it. All right, so I'm gonna put the ink bandit away because now what I wanna do, if I'm gonna stamp this way, I like my ink facing up like this. Am I in shock? Because I can't, it keeps moving. I don't know why my thing If you thing say keeps moving. Um, your center bullseye on your glass mat. You're then good. I'm good? Okay. All right, so ink this guy up, all right? I do this. I like to bring the flat side to me, all right? And then I'm gonna turn the flat side of this to me as well. And then what I'm gonna do is line up my flat side first stamp it down and walk it backwards. That's how I did it, okay? So you can just do this. And like, and another thing, put them in a row. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Spot you got a bunch in. to do, put I them in a, like arrows in a row. Just <laughs> stamper. It's really not hard to do. And listen, I'm doing this without getting my head over it and you guys will be able to do that. So you'll be able to actually line it up Perfect. Okay. Not perfect. We don't do perfect. Pretty close. All right. So that is showing you how to get that done. Now, for camera purposes tonight, look how many are already done here. So I went through. I got to show you all this paper pack. It's new and it's so cute. They're going to buy this up too, by the way. I just thought about that. This is going to be gone. For your reference, you have four inches above from the center mark and five inches below from the center mark. Dang. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. I don't have a lot, do I? No. Look, this That's nine inches. Yeah, but I'm working in nine inches of space. That's not a whole lot of space. This is Long Fawn's new pack called What's Sewing On. Did we have to have this? Of course. Do you need it? You do. It's really Can cute. Can I throw you a question before you get into that? Mm -hmm. Brenda wants to know what does it mean to walk it backwards? Oh, okay. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Look how cute this is. These dainty flowers, they just get me. And I'm not a floral person. What is going on? Look at this page. Love it. We have this in 12 by 12 also. And it's got all kinds of stitch lines. I was like, we had to have this for quilting, right? We had to have it. Here's what I mean by walking it back. Like, I'm, I'm placing that, that stitch line there down first at an angle, touching it down. And then I'm just going to tilt it back like that. So I'm not really walking. I'm just more like tilting it back. So just kind of maybe driving is a better word. Just drive it back like that. I just think you get, it's just easier to, I'm a shaker, so I need to get landed as soon as I can. Because if I don't, I'm going to wiggle in the back. Wiggle with it. Okay, let's make a card. Here's how I'm doing this. I'm doing this a little different than Shannon did, but she got the same um, result. She took a 6x6 six six piece of cardstock and lined this up on 6x6. Six six. I'm going to do this because I know that I mess quilting up all the time, even in real life. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to take my ruler. <laughs> I mess quilting up, okay? Hey, mine wasn't perfect. No, I but knew I was the first step. <laughs> it. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this piece of um, cardstock. By the way, this is a scrap piece of cardstock, and I'll tell you why. It's got ink all over it. I have somehow got it dirty. I don't know if y'all ever do that. If you ever get one dirty, don't throw it away. Don't put it in your bin or whatever. Just put it in a different spot, and you know you can use it for this kind of thing. So I'm just going to do this a half inch this way, and then a half inch this way using my ruler, just to give me a corner to start in. Um, because with quilting, even with quilting, you can square up, like at the end, you can square up and it's good. Now, you don't get to see this because I'm not showing you finished project yet, but what Shannon did, and we can do it, we can do it. What Shannon did when she was doing hers, we're going to make four pinwheels and put them on this card. She went ahead and laid out her pinwheel so she could see how she wanted it laid out. So a pinwheel is basically this. Why do I feel like I'm not doing it right? Copy my pinwheel. Oh, 
Because I'm not, I don't think. Hold on. I'm confused. Let me that's go. Why, that's why I had to lay it out. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I like that. All right, so I want to get this, this piece that is my favorite. Look how cute this piece is. So I'm going to lay that one there, and then we go back with our light. By the way, this doesn't have to be white. It just needs to be light. In the quilt world, I think they call them lights, mids, and darks. I think that's how that works. All right, so let's get another color and go here. And you'll see the pinwheel start to form just like this. And if you go ahead and lay it out how you want it, you can just mimic it. Y'all see how much I shake? I can't help it. I'm a shaker. Let's try to slide that in there. So there's our pinwheel. That's the pattern that we're going to follow. So what I'm going to do is just slide this over here so I can look at it. And I'll start it right here. Am I in shot? Yes. Okay. So let's start with this guy. And I've got it upside down. Because I'm in my mind, this is the front of my card, the top of my card. I'm just going to twist this because I want it to go like this. But you do it whatever way. I want this green to be here. Okay. So then the way I want it to lay is like this. If that makes sense. So let's do it. What is that? Can't square up. What is that? Can't square up when you're putting it on a page in a magnetic envelope folio. Can't square up. So, oh, I see what you're saying. You made the, um, you already made the piece to go down so you couldn't square it up. I'm sure there's places we can't square it up. I've been waiting for a 49 and Marketplace pre-made album. Any word how I can get three. Don't we have those in stock? The 49 and Market albums? Jasmine was working with somebody today about them, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I was eavesdropping. <laughs> okay, I want to show you something. Do you see at that tip right there that I'm overlapping? I'm okay with that. I'm just going to keep going and overlap and let it hide because I really just want to try to stay as clean as I can out here. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't care how perfect you are at cutting paper. It is not going to be perfect. No. It is not going to be. And I'll even tell you this. If I were you, I would use another quilting method called a scant cut. I would cut a scant inch and a, quarter, inch and a half by inch and a half piece. That just means it's slightly smaller, just slightly smaller, because I think they fit better that way. Even in um, quilting, things fit better when you cut them scant or when you sew scant. I act like I know what I'm doing in quilting. <laughs> I'm literally in the middle of my second class of quilting. <laughs> my friend Penny at Sew Charming is doing classes. Okay, so now I need yellow. And I took one, and I haven't finished that class. And I decided to sign up for the second one. And now my classes are overlapping. So I have a Thursday. No, I have a yeah Thursday afternoon class. And I have a Monday morning class. <laughs> so how do you anticipate continuing to do a Thursday night live show? Well, the Thursday night show? class is almost over. Probably I'll probably be done with that one before, we, before next week. Because a lot of people are done. I'm just slow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a lot of people have already completed it. Plus, it's only till... It's, I can go at like three. I can go anytime I want. She doesn't care what time we get there. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have time today to go early. Thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. All of your um, sweet um, condolence thoughts. Very, very kind. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to keep going. I got to do this several times, y'all. Is there an SVG for this set? I'm not sure. Because everything was square, I'm not sure if we did one. What's this one called? So perfect. Ask me why. It's so perfect. Because it's so perfect. Look how cute. Shannon, you're much faster at this than me. <laughs> she did hers quick. Well, I had a time crunch. I had to, I had to finish so we could come live show. Somewhere I got a big gap in here. I'll let it ride. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to glue this one down because I'm looking at it. So it's fine. I can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to keep building right next to each other. I love how these like lock in together. How the card just sits right next to the next one. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. And I say this all the time. You don't really have to do this, this white piece because if you're putting it on white, you have white showing. However, it does keep it nice and level. 
Oh, yay. I can't wait for y'all to play with these sets. This is a fun one. And I love the sentiments. Did y'all see all the sentiments? They are so cute. And all the things you can do with them. So cute. So cute. Super cute. That's what Amy would say. Super cute. No SVG for this set. Okay. It's all squares. So I didn't think she did one. Push that one down like that. I see a little piece I might have to cut off up here. Thank you. It's kind of, the pinwheels are easy, right? I mean, you got to pay attention to them, but they're pretty easy to do. Benny, are you itching to put together a quilt card? You know. Just itching. Maybe. I'm just going to say maybe. You're it's joking. Yes. It's not saying no. It's just maybe. Yes. Um, I don't want to be too enthusiastic and, you know. Come over here and roll me out of the way, like push yeah, my chair out of the way I, and I, get over no, here. There ain't no point in getting too carried away. <laughs> Your stamps did ship out. People's Stamp of the Month Club is on its way. It did go out a day late, but it's on the way. <laughs> I felt like y'all would understand. Do you guys know, they know that, so my dad that passed away, he and his wife, I did one wrong, y'all. Look, I can feel it. Do you feel it? Oh, yeah, you see it? it? Um, he and his wife do our stamp club. And for the past Sorry. couple of months, I guess it's been, they haven't been able to do them. We've been doing them also. So, I mean, we, and on top of shipping orders, we've also been doing them. And we have not minded one bit because while Dad was sick and Karen was taking care of him, we were doing that so that that could get done. And so this time, we had we also did them this time. Because obviously it was not something, Karen was not where she was going to be doing stamp club. You know what I'm saying? So it took us, we were a little bit, we were a day short, a day late. So we apologize, but we do, we appreciate your grace. She's going to continue to do club too. Just want to let y'all know that too. She, she enjoys it and she wants to continue doing that. So, all right, there's half. Let's do the other half. Am I slow enough for y'all? I don't think they care how long it takes. Listen. In our folio class, I've been trying to be, like, I'm trying to be very, not slow, but I'm, I'm trying to be very um, diligent, concise, you know? And so maybe I'm picking it up in the day-to-day because -day I feel like I'm slowing down. We do appreciate y'all's patience with us as we, as we uh, got those done and have been doing that for a little while. Y'all are so sweet. We do try to ship as quick as possible. It don't always happen next business day, but we try real hard. Did I tell you, I don't think I told them how many to cut. Shannon, do you remember how many they should cut? Um, you need to cut eight white squares and then cut them in half to make 16 triangles. And then you will cut two squares of each color. So she did two green squares, two gray squares, two yellow squares, and two orange squares. And then cut all those squares into triangles. So you wind up having 16 colored, 16 white. I see somebody finish their folio. Oh, Miss Geneva did. Good job. Where's this go? Where does this yellow go? What have I done? Right there. Y'all, this can be so confusing. Do y'all have a design wall for it? We need a design wall for this. <laughs> I can use my design wall at home and go, that goes there, that goes there. Yeah, we, we appreciate y'all understanding. Um, I'm not going to do it wrong this time. Just watch me. Do it wrong? I'm not going to do it wrong this time. Watch you do it wrong. Okay. I'm not going to do it wrong. Look. Uh, yeah, Deb, we always there. try to do that. If you pay more in shipping than it costs me to ship it to you, um, we try to refund it. That's a good question. If you have punches that do squares that are the right size, is there any reason not to use them? I say there's no reason to not use them. I would use them. I think that would be cool. Look how pretty that is. Look how the stitching looks. I like that. It's very... Um, it's neat and clean, isn't it? I love it. Didn't, oh, man, I almost said I didn't have to rip any seams out, but I did. Yeah. You <laughs> I did, too, though. 
<laughs> I was so excited. I was like, I didn't have to rip any seams out. Yes, I did. We had a question, and I'm trying to get back to it, from Max. Max, unfortunately, no, I cannot do that. Max asked, if I join the stamp club, would I be able to add another stamp set and have both sent for the same postage? No, ma'am, because the postage in the stamp club is free to you, um, and we pay for that. Uh, but also because they're not, purposes, it's done in two different, they're not done together. Like yeah, we don't. They're not done together. They're done in two separate systems, basically. So any order that you place has to be shipped on its own. And unfortunately, once the order has been placed, there's no way for us to add additional items to it. So, um, but I know that was a lot more information than you probably wanted to know. Was probably just like, enough. Could, but, you could just said no. <laughs> so I apologize for going on and on, but unfortunately we cannot do that. So in other words, he said no. no. Long story short. Long story short. No. <laughs> you know when people say, long story long, did I do that right? Yes. Okay. Long story long. No. Short story long. Long story short. Y'all are so sweet. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, you know... I'm going to say this, y'all. Grief is different when you're already in the grief. <laughs> like, it's just saturated now. You know what I'm saying? Well, they probably don't know. Oh, some of them don't know. Probably. That, yeah. Your some, mom passed <laughs> last year. Yeah. In 20, no, tw two years ago now. In August will be two years. August of 21, Miss Edna passed, and then uh, Mr. Beal passed this year. Uh, last Friday. And honestly, it's different when you're already in it. I, listen, I, I'm not saying that it's easier at all. I've not said that. All I'm saying is it's not, it's different when you're already in it. I don't know how to explain that, but like. Maybe it's easier to say it's the initial, when you're already experiencing it. Yeah, the initial hit is different when you're already, you're like, mm, yeah. It, this continues. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. Then anyway, I don't know how to explain sister it. Sister passed away. And then my aunt passed away the day of dad's service that morning. So, so remember their family. Remember my aunt. She is, um, my aunt is the last surviving sibling. Um, she was the youngest and she's the last surviving. So it's just, whew, let's don't go there. Let's keep making fun quilt cards. Fun quilt cards. That's what we want to do. Fun quilt cards. Fun quilt card. Fun quilt card. Yeah. Fun quilt card. Good job, Shannon. It's like three times fast. Do y'all see what I'm doing? I'm really not squaring up. I'm really just cleaning up the edges. There's a chance this is going to be slightly bigger than my card base because, like I said, we can't we can't be perfect with our cuts. And if that's the case, either just most um. Most of your envelopes are going to have a little wiggle room in them anyway, but you can always go back and just trim what hangs over your six by six base. And it's okay. Now for the fun part. Y'all thought that was the fun part. Look how cute. I love it. Did I mess anything up? Let me look at it like this. Something could be messed up. Are my eyes just crossing? Is it right? Let me see. Pinwheel? Pinwheel? Yes. Yeah, we're good. Okay, now for the fun part. So, <laughs> SCW, we also have, <laughs> this is on its way, right? Uh, it was supposed to be here today. Okay, so probably here tomorrow. In Bessemer. Oh, Bessemer. Okay, so, <laughs> we have this stamp set called Meander, which I just adore, and you guys bought every single one of them. And uh, listen, y'all bought so many of them, I don't have a clean one to show you because Jasmine had to come get mine out, my, out of my room. We also have heart strings, which is what Shannon used. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And this one is called Celestial, which I'm going to use because I have been excited to use this. Been into stars lately. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Now, here's the thing. The large, this is a 6x6 six six, uh, stamp. Or the, the stamp is called a 6x6, six six, okay? This is not 6x6. Six six. This is going to be a little shy. Do you see that? You can't. We can't make it all the way to the edge, so we did as much as we could. So here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to put this little guy in here like so. And I'm hoping I'm in screen there. Then I'm going to tape this guy off the backer, and honestly, you could just tape this to the, you could just tape this here, you wouldn't have to take it off the backer, but I like taking it off. I actually won't put it back on the backer. I actually, I, I, okay, for this big O thing, let me show you. For this big O stamp, I like this. So, do you see what I did? I stuck it down like that onto my packaging so that I don't get the back dirty, but I also don't have to peel it off that piece every time. That just works great. And then I'll just put it into my container like that. I like that, okay? So I'm gonna lay this down here, S-E-W. Every time I say so, it's S-E-W, y'all. Every time I say so, y'all type S-E-W. That'll be funny. Okay, I'm gonna lay this down like this. Now, Shannon tried something for me that I asked her to try, and it kind of worked. I'll show y'all in a minute, but I'm gonna try something even different. What am I going to try? Let's dig into That's too light. Um, Michelle, I don't think so. I don't think you can't order the, the handle for the Cricut trimmer by itself, right? I have not seen that be a possibility. People have asked that before, and I've not seen anybody be able to do it. But if you're having trouble with your Cricut trimmer, if you'll call Cricut, they have great customer service, and a lot of times they'll take care of it for you. Okay. I almost said, I almost said, but you already almost said. So here we go. <laughs> I asked that's Shannon. The wrong so, isn't it? Well, it is, but I'm just saying. So I'm I asked sorry. Shannon to use um, Morning Mist. Yes. And this is this is the one she did with Morning Mist, and she also used Heartstrings. This is Heartstrings. So I asked her to use Morning Mist, but honestly, in this area, it still looks black, and in this area, it looks like Morning Mist. So. It was still a little dark. I want it to just kind of be, just barely be there. It doesn't have to be. You can do it in black and it's super cute. I just wanted to see what it looks like, especially on this pale guy right here. But I want to see something first. I want to see how this color turns out. Let's just do a little test. That's the not bad. Noise that it's a little you blue. Heard, Linda, may have been our air conditioner. Is that a little blue? On. I don't know. I like it. Let's do it. All right, we're going to do this one. All right, so I'm going to go around. Or ink it this could up. be what my mate's doing right now with the ink pad because she's kind of thumping it. I'm really making this whole table shake. Go over it several times because you don't know where it's going. Also, this is a light color. Okay, now I'm going to push this in this corner again, okay? You cannot do that too much, I don't think, because I'm not using a magnet. You can use a magnet because you've got some room. Then I'm going to do this. You can't do it too much because... Hey, Mackie, Mackie. Welcome second in. Second sample. See, I got to do it again because I missed some spots. I kind of like that light color, though. Uh -huh. um, let's do it again. My dew drops are so old. Do y'all want to know how old my dew drops are? I can tell you. I got them when we first started carrying them, Vince. These dew drops have not been replaced. Do you know how long ago that was? Lord, that's been a long time. We started carrying dew drops in the cottage. I've had these since the cottage and have not re-inked them or replaced them. John Marie, did we, did we send you a duplicate by mistake or did you order a duplicate by mistake? And our Fowler, the Meander stamp set there it was is. supposed to be back today. See it that? It is on a FedEx vehicle somewhere. Yeah. Cool. Um, somebody asked what ink I was using. Bam Bam, I'm using London Fog. That's Memento London Fog. And again, mine's pretty dry, but I like the light gray because I like the like pale stitching. Now get ready for the real fun part because y'all just thought we couldn't emboss it. Oh yeah, we can. Oh yeah, we can. Watch this. Okay, I'm going to take this guy in my embossing folder and I'm going to put him all the way to the edge. Matter of fact, I'm going to stand him up. Wait, I want him to go to this edge, don't I? We'll stand him up to the edge and close this folder down, okay? And that is going into my Gemini, all right? So I'm going to put my sandwich. See how it sinks in? Now, I'm not using a traditional sandwich. I'll just tell you all, this one works perfect. For my 3D folders, I use the magnetic shim and one um, embossing plate, and it works perfect, okay? So I'm going to send this through. Shannon, will you retrieve that? 
it's going on Shannon's side now. Well, Charlotte said she got her first dew drops when we were at the cottage. That's when I got mine. Seven years ago. That's when I got mine. Eight years ago. Okay, so we did half of it, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around, and you can kind of feel when it catches. Actually, let's put it to the front, because that's where you can feel it, because it's deeper up here. And I got to go pretty close. There we go. I felt it kind of lock in. Okay, yeah, John Marie, if you want to send them back, we'll be happy to gift them to someone or do a, uh, a raffle or in one of our shows or something. That's awesome. We'd be glad to. Or if you have a friend that you would like to share them with, you can certainly do that as well. So do you see how I did that? And you can feel it lock in and then close it down. And this way you can do the whole six by six. Uh, she is using the Gemini Junior. Look how cool it is. And listen, we chose to do this one that's called, um, we talked about it last week, crochet. No, knitted. Knitted. Because of the straight lines. But I honestly think it would work with any, especially these deeper ones, because it, it, really, it really does kind of lock into place. Like you kind of feel it go in. So there's mine and there's Shannon's. Look Tracy, how cute. are you referring to the embossing folder that you said looks like a book? That probably. Is that what she's asking what I was using? Well, maybe she was talking about the Misty. Oh, it looks like a book too. So. Tamitha sent her the link to purchase a Misty, so I'm going to say maybe. Oh, I love how this, I love, I can't see both of them. I can only see mine on camera. Oh, they're beautiful. But I love, and what I like about this one with that soft meander, it's not meander, with that soft so, um, celestial with the stars on there, it's just kind of soft in the background. And you know, a lot of times your meander or your quilting stitch will kind of go into the background like that. But isn't that cool? And honestly, you could do this with the lighter color too. But this one is done with the morning mist and black. The black is the stitch and then morning mist here. I think they're really cute. And then you just put this on the front of a six by six base. Ooh, that's pretty good. That lines up really well. So if you want a six by six card and then you use these cute sentiments, you keep me in stitches. I've got you covered like a quilt. Get it? Isn't that cute? Robin, Love I it. don't know if I can get replacement plates for the memento machine or not. I will we can't for memento. See. They've quit doing it. No. Nope. Cause I tried. I can't do it. Now we, do we have any stragglers? Because we had a few, but we did have people calling and asking for them because they quit doing it. I don't even think I have any extras for the memento. Kim, isn't that the truth? I wish making a quilt was this easy too. <laughs> That's the truth. But I love that and I wanted to show you how that works. So you can make bigger ones, smaller ones. So you get four triangles, okay? You get three squares and you can even piece these all around the square. You can do all kinds of, you'll see it coming. I just wanted to show y'all one tonight for sure. I think this is so cute. I think it's cute. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Pick up your stamps if you want to get them. This one, like I said, Celestial. Let me show y'all something. I think this is so pretty. Y'all want me to stop a, saying so? That is a very difficult question to answer because ink has different purposes. So it depends on what you're using it for as to which one we would recommend. Did I say that right? Pretty good. Okay. Um, it has different says, properties. She says, I actually need inks and have no idea which ones to buy. It's so confusing when everyone thinks something else is the best one. What kind do you think is best? Look how cute that is. So did I answer that fairly? Everybody, you're exactly right. Everybody has their own favorites. I have my favorites just like everybody else does. My favorite for, okay. <laughs> Here's what he was saying. There's pigment ink, there's dye ink, and then there's some different inks. Pigment and dye are your pretty much straightforward ones. For my dye ink, I typically only use the Memento. 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 I love those. I love Tuxedo Black for um, coloring with alcohol markers and things like that. And then for my sentiments and stuff like this, where I won't be using an alcohol marker, I like to use my pigment inks. And for those, I like VersaFine. Um, VersaFine, this is Onyx Black. And I like VersaFine Claire, which are these guys that Is come in a multitude of colors. I don't know. Um, but I'll tell you something. If you are not opposed to taking a class, I have a class on my May May events. Um, it's www.maymayevents.com. I have a class called Stamp Right Up. 
Um, it is over there, isn't it? We moved it over there, didn't we? It is. And that class will teach you the properties of ink and teach you when and where to use them. And that will help you make decisions on your ink purchases. Um, that class, it's pretty in depth. It's not extremely long. Um, it's like $10 for the class. Y'all look how cute this is. I think this would be so cute to color each of the stars. Like for the 4th of July to color them different red, white, and blue. Wouldn't that be so cute? So cute. All right. And then I want to show you the heart one because I think it's so cute when you can see what it actually looks. I guess y'all could see it, couldn't y'all? Oh, I can't because it's over yonder, ain't it? Yeah. You want me to see? Where's the... No, here, look. I can show y'all. Look. And I think this would be so cute stamped just like this too and colored. Won't that be cute? Oh, so good. All right. That is the main, that's the crafter show for tonight. Let's go to the after show so we can talk about whatever we want to. And boy, do I have some things to show you tonight. I think you're really going to like uh, what came in th this week. Oh, and one thing really, okay. I, I need y'all to go to the after show. Let's get you the link. We're going to let Tamitha put that link in for you guys. I don't know anything compatible, Robin. Um, I've not tried. I guess we can try and see if any of the other ones work. I don't know. Look at all the sews. I just keep saying it, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Link to the after show. If you've never been to the after show, just come check it out. Click on that link right there. Come hang out with us for a little bit. We're going to chat about things and um, answer all these questions. These questions are great. Let's bring them over there so we can.